Hey friends, I am hanging out at Disney Springs tonight and I am here for Christmas. I've been to almost all the parks and checked out all the Christmas stuff. Now it's Disney Springs turn. We have Epcot yet, but the Festival of the Holidays has not started yet. So let's go do this. And honestly, I don't know what better place to start than the Christmas tree trail. But they have a little tiny like dance party out here that's playing the chicken song and then you have Christmas music on this side. It's kind of playing games with my mind at the moment. It's like chicken dance. And then this, huh. I highly recommend if you want to come do the Christmas tree trail to do it on a weekday. I came here earlier to try to do it on a weekend and it was so packed. But so far today, nobody's here and I'm loving it. Look, you can actually see the trees without like a big group of people around them. Oh man, and look at that snow. And my favorite Christmas tree is first. It's the monorail tree. Wow. I just love that. You can actually make this at your house. Just buy one, two, three, four different monorail sets. It's gonna be a pretty expensive tree. And you might need to get one of these from a photo pass person. Yeah, crowds are a lot better tonight. Beauty and the Beast tree right over here. Oh, wow, I'm loving it. Really gets you in the Christmas spirit. I'm not gonna show you every single Christmas tree. Just showcase a couple of my favorites and enjoy the music and snow. I know it's not a tree, but look at this. <laughs> Mittens for kittens. Oh, and they're playing Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, what's this? Look at the Frozen tree. Frozen 2 actually just came out. Oh, wow. I like the little carrots. Look at this sign. Me, 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 Leota's music lessons. Be sure to bring your death certificate. And of course, we have to showcase the Haunted Mansion tree. Wow. Probably my favorite tree every year. I would like this in my house. Look at the Madame Yoda ornament. And then, wow, look at that bride. It is really hard to beat that Haunted Mansion tree. But I'm sure there's a couple that people will love more. I mean, for me, Haunted Mansion all the way. But you let me know if you got a favorite tree. Maybe it might be the Pinocchio tree. But I would be lying if I said it was my favorite. Oh, the snow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm in a good spot. Wow, uh oh, the camera's getting covered. And this must be the paging Mr. Morrow tree. Have you seen this dinosaur? Wow, if found, please return to Dr. Seeker. Ha! But don't tell Dr. Marsh. How about Dumbo's Christmas tree? Wow. I like the peanuts and I like how they showcase like every single like tree has like the main character in this little box here. I like that. And I love this Lion King tree because look at Simba peeking out up top there. Wow. And look at these nifty guys. I don't remember them last year. They're very nice though. And hello there good sir. Thank you. Oh, I have to say, I really do like Mary Poppins, so I'm gonna give Mary Poppins number two. Haunted Mansion's still taking the top spot for me, but wow. Mainly because of that umbrella. Think of all the joy you'll find when you leave the world behind. Second star to the right, travel agency. And look at that Peter Pan tree. Wow. I like Tinker in there. Kind of like she belongs in there. 
The Cinderella tree is very nice as well, but I've got one issue. Where's Gus Gus? I don't see him on here, and that bothers me. We need Gus Gus. But also no, it might be one of the only trees that have pumpkins on them. They also have a pit stop area where you can get some eggnoggery. Look at this, they have Thank Garland frozen hot chocolate, and then some Cosmo, mistletoe, Florida Yule, Winter Wonderland, Fireside Cider. Those are some fancy named holiday brews. And last and most important, the Mickey and Minnie tree. This one is a gem. And it's so vibrant. I love all Minnie's bows and all of the different Mickey shaped ornaments. It is a really nice tree. I am sorry, Mary Poppins. Mickey and Minnie take number two. Huh. So as I was walking through the Christmas tree trail, any tree that I came to that there was a lot of people there at, I decided to skip and then come back around. And I got a better chance to like view it with less people there later on so that's maybe something you want to do like go up one side and then down the other because people do clear out so we left the Christmas tree trail and here you can see a little bit of the dance party and they call it the Kringle Mingle huh I like that the Kringle Mingle and technically right next to the Earl of Sandwich I would believe is the official Disney Springs Christmas tree because it's the biggest one here look at that look at all the pretty reindeer they have lit up here too I like them because they don't look like reindeers they look like some creature from Pandora <laughs> or Loch Ness Monster wait can we do this it's messy I love it but I also like the use of multicolored lights look at how pretty those are I think I've discussed this before, but I am a multicolor light kind of guy. I don't know, a lot of people like just white lights or just some one color lights or maybe just two colors, but give me all the colors in the world. Look at the wreath even. So pretty. This is right outside Trend Day. Trend Day. <laughs> Jenny. Once Upon a Toy is also decorated very nice. Oh, wow, they have a Christmas tree in there. Got to take a peek, see here. Oh wow, look at all the garland. And then they have their own little Christmas tree right here. Oh, it's a cute little tree. I mean, it's not decked out like the Christmas tree trail, but it holds its own. You're doing great, little tree. And look at Pluto to Santa's North Pole. I like it a lot. <laughs> that is adorable. They really do have toys that wow here. A holiday mischief with Stitch, and then of course Mickey and Minnie. Oh, and they have a little Christmas calendar. I like those. I never actually had one, but I always wanted one. So now, since we've looked at the outsides of the buildings, I think it's time we head to World of Disney because it is very festive in there. All right, it's time to go into the World of Disney and wait till you see. Oh my word. It is so pretty in here. Oh, I like it a lot. And look at the up lighting in here. So festive. I wish they did this for every holiday. I don't think they do, but it would be nice to see some orange and purple for Halloween in here like this. Huh. And look at this Christmas display here. They've got all of the good stuff. Even this Christmas train set. The Holiday Express. $139. Oh, look. They even Happy Holidays 2019 little like signage on the ground. I like this. Plus, they're just blasting out really good Christmas music in here. I'm not a big Lego guy, but I admire that Mickey train station right there. How cool is that? And how about these Christmas Crocs? Yeah, Christmas Crocs. They look, they're even soft on the inside. You don't see that much in Crocs. Yeah, I like them a lot. I spotted these really cool decorations over here. Look at this Donald Duck one. That is pretty awesome. Also, oh, Mr. Toad. Wow, that's a really nifty one. They have a lot of cool decorations. Oh, I didn't even notice the other side of Donald. That's awesome. 
Well, as you can see, we just have a boatload of Christmas merchandise. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Had a lot of fun hanging out here at Disney Springs, checking out the Christmas tree trail. It's definitely a fun, nifty thing to do. So, love the life you live. We'll see you next time. Bye.